Welcome to Everglades Classroom. I'm Miss Mary, and today we're going to talk about my favorite insect, the dragonfly. He's my favorite because he has interesting adaptations. Look at his eyes. They're so big so that he can see his prey when he's flying through the air. And he has long legs so he can catch that prey as he continues to fly. He also has a very, very interesting life cycle. We're going to go over to Miss Sarah in the field so you can see it firsthand. Thanks, Mary. I've actually been out dip netting in the marsh today and I happened to catch your favorite insect, the dragonfly. You heard me right. I caught dragonflies by scooping my net through the water, not the air. How did I pull that off? It's because dragonflies actually have a really cool life cycle with three distinct steps. Let's talk about it. This is the type of dragonfly you're probably familiar with. You see them zipping through the air. The first stage of the dragonfly life cycle is an egg. So the female dragonfly flies down close to the water, dips her tail, and actually lays an egg with every tail dip. Those eggs then sink down into the nice mucky soil of our wetland, and a really, really cool aquatic insect hatches out in about two to five weeks. Check it out. So here's what I caught dip netting today. Let go. These are called dragonfly nymphs. We have a little one who probably hatched relatively recently out of her egg. And then this big guy might be years old. Dragonflies actually stay in this nymph phase for two to five years. And all they're doing is hiding, eating, and getting bigger. So you can see their cool camouflage for hiding down in the soil. Let me show you another neat adaptation of the dragonfly nymph. Dragonfly nymphs ha actually have a spoon-like hinged jaw that allows them to pretend to be a dead leaf in the mud and then just shoot out this cool spoon scoop up maybe a baby fish fry or a baby tadpole or another small aquatic insect, bring the spoon back to their munching parts. Closed, nom 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 nom. And that's how they eat and get bigger. Once a dragonfly is ready to become an adult, it crawls up on a piece of spike rush and actually hatches out of its own exoskeleton. So this is the empty exoskeleton or the empty molt of a dragonfly nymph. Inside that exoskeleton, the dragonfly was busy growing a whole new body, some really cool wings. It cracks open the exoskeleton, does a cool backwards roll out of it, and then just whoosh, takes a breather, dries out its wings. Once it's ready, it flies off, and maybe goes and lays some eggs again to start that life cycle all over. So you may have noticed that the dragonfly life cycle had three steps that we talked about. The egg stage, boop. The nymph stage, where they're underwater. And then the adult stage. That type of metamorphosis that only has three steps and doesn't involve the pupa stage is called incomplete metamorphosis. Cool, right? Egg, nymph, adult. Hope you guys enjoyed learning about the life cycle of the dragonfly with me today. Back to you, Mary. Thanks, Sarah. Now that you've learned more about the dragonfly life cycle, I have a challenge for you. Either draw the dragonfly life cycle or email us a dragonfly fun fact to earn your dragonfly badge. Thanks for exploring the Everglades with us. See you next time.